I will start just by telling you who, who are Index on Censorship. Um, we're an international organization that work to defend uh, the right to free speech and free expression. And uh, on the other side of the coin, because we think that it's important to cultivate and nurture a world in which free expression is available for all, uh, we also promote uh, it. We're here because we were invited to work together with Wales and the arts community within Wales to ask and explore a, a key question, and that is whether or not Wales is enjoying the right, its right to artistic freedom of expression. This follows uh, similar events that we've run in London, in England, and uh, also over in Northern Ireland. Um, and the, the kind of format of this afternoon is going to be what we call a free speech hearing. And I've had the great privilege of running these uh, hearings quite recently in southern India, in uh, Tunisia, and in Senegal, uh, in West Africa. So far, under the banner of Art Freedom Wales, we've hosted some online discussions which are still available to watch uh, online on YouTube. And you'll find there uh, three discussions with a number of different voices from across Wales talking in response to this question, but looking into their own field. So we've, we've worked with artists um, of some repute and standing. We've worked with young artists, so emerging or student artists. Um, and uh, we've also worked with Welsh, the Welsh-speaking community here in Wales. I suppose the, the other thing to say about Art Freedom Wales is uh, to use a, a, a slight cliche but a quite useful one um, is that this is, this is not, the, um, it's not the end and it's not even the beginning of the end. It's very much, we hope, um, the end of the beginning of a, a conversation that we think is very important to be had. We're talking about basic fundamental human rights. We're looking at the ways in which... Um, they should and could be promoted and supported within your country. And when I say we, I mean very much everybody in this space, in this room. We are here as an international organization with a completely unbiased and very open willingness to listen and see and hear. Um, in that spirit, the simultaneous translation, I hope, enables everybody to speak and listen in whichever language they prefer. Um, and, and I hope that that leads to... Uh, even more nuanced and, and worthwhile discussion. We're going to start with, uh, with evidence, with stories that people have offered to submit in response to this question. Um, is Wales enjoying its right to artistic freedom of expression? Um, we're then going to go on to uh, a second part, which is much more participatory. We're going to break into groups um, and actually discuss between ourselves and according to our interests and our passion some of the points that have come up. Um, we'll share those little discussions back with each other. And the third and final part of the afternoon is that a fantastic group of institutional leaders um, and cultural leaders from this country are going to reflect on everything that they've heard throughout the afternoon. When we thought about this to start with, the free speech hearings, we thought... One of the best ways to enable everybody to start to think about the nature of a cultural landscape um, and the questions and challenges within a, within a country was to invite somebody who has some intimate knowledge of that place, but perhaps comes from outside of it, to share their own feelings and thoughts just to kink, kick things off. And most importantly, we wanted to find an artist and we also wanted to find somebody who, in their own ways, had direct experience of censorship. So somebody for whom this is not just a concept, but a very practical and, uh, and real concern. Um, so I'm going to invite uh, a, a wonderful Turkish artist called Meltem Arakan, who uh, is living here in Cardiff, to come and share her thoughts with us, just to get things going. <laughs> 